this is ammunition, so this is an entire round, so it uh, contains the casing and the bullet and the gunpowder. I've got much larger rifle rounds if you want, but I was just trying to match the calibers. I, I was just upset. I was so upset. The National Rifle Association had tweeted out that self-important doctors should stay in their lane with regards to gun violence. And they had done this in reaction to an American College of Physicians position paper recommending that doctors speak to their patients about gun safety and also recommending that doctors advocate for gun control measures. The problem was is the tweet came out in the morning and then several hours later that night, there was a shooting in Thousand Oaks. And combined with the anger of physicians and the publicity for the mass killing event, doctors all over the United States and actually internationally galvanized online, sharing the hashtag, this is our lane and this is my lane. I was on my way into the morgue to perform an autopsy on another victim of gun violence, and I saw the tweet, and I had seen other doctors' responses. And I was incensed, because this was the second autopsy I had done that week on a gunshot victim. I'm the one who gets called to court. I'm the one who talks to family members, and I'm the one who is qualified as an expert to talk about the damage that bullets do to bodies. So the idea that somehow this isn't my lane or that it isn't any doctor's lane was just astounding to me. What physicians in this country are hoping to get is lobbying efforts to increase funding for gun violence research to figure out which strategies are actually preventative and cut down on violence and which strategies may just needlessly impede people's Second Amendment rights. We're not interested in repealing the Second Amendment. We're interested in making sure that there's research and whatever legislation we pass is evidence-based, is based on good science. This is a model that's used for teaching purposes. Here is the entrance wound, and this is the exit wound. Yes, this is not unusual to see in both uh, suicidal and homicidal gunshot wounds.